We're in first race in the Mercedes SLS Gullwing. Bit of a culture shock, is it? Yeah, completely. Uh, especially since the deal was only very last minute. It was only last week, and you know, I did 15 laps or 20 laps to shake down the car and, and see if I can check the seat and stuff. And straight into this weekend, and uh, the weather has not been my friend so far. So, uh, yes, uh, learning curves about that steep at the moment. I mean, obviously, it's a GT car. Yeah. And if it's a GT car, it's got a roof over your head. Yeah. And I don't. I, I'm trying to think if you've ever raced an enclosed car. Well, when I was 16 years old, uh, my first race car was like a one-liter Suzuki yeah. Swift in India. So I don't think that counts as a, as a race car. But no, I mean it's completely different. You, you know, I think being in a closed as it is, the cars are a lot slower. You know, and you, everything happens slower. But I think with the roof on, you feel it all happening slower as well. You know, if it, if it makes sense. It's you know when you compare to a, an LMP1 car or a Formula One car where you're you know. As they say, the wind in your hair, yes. as you know. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, you feel the speed a lot quicker. And uh, yeah, lots to learn, for sure. But, but the, one of the unique things about the Mercedes-Benz is that it is actually a mid-engine car, but the mid-engine is in the front of the car rather than behind the driver. Yeah. You're sitting literally in the back axle. I mean, it's so yeah. far back. Yeah, you, you kind of have to remember just you know where the end of the car is, uh, you know, because it's so far in front of you. But um, and you can't obviously see the tires like in a single seater uh, or a P1 car. So and it's left-hand drive as well. It's left-hand drive. Yeah. So it, it's so it, really, but you're, you're sort of building up a lot of very good reasons or excuses as to whether you may not be as quick no, as you'd like I, to be. I, I think this weekend is. Uh, is it for me? It's a test, but my teammate has a lot of experience in the car, so I'm learning a lot from him. Uh, he's raced in Germ you know, the German Championship and stuff. So, you know, I think I, I'd be disappointed if we don't have a good result. You know, I think there's no excuse not to score decent points at least. The Karun. There's a little bit of mud down in the front of yes. the car here. Now, did somebody paint that on, or was is there a reason why we've got a little bit of well, dirt and gravel in the car? We're in the countryside, John, and you know, I, I thought I'll just see what's in the local fields out here. Like, you know, Snetterton, you pick up turnips and carrots and stuff. Is that why there's a red flag in the session? I, I don't. I couldn't possibly <laughs> comment on that. <laughs> no, I just uh, I caught a wheel on the damp patch yeah. just as the track was drying, so nothing major, just a little bit of gravel. I'll enjoy it. I'll try. Yes, thank you. Thank you.